Welcome to Tales from the Flipside. This is Modern Playbook Roundtable. Make sure to use the code FLIPSIDE for a two-week free subscription to the Key Collector app. Let's go around and introduce everyone. Steve from My Bargain Comics. Check us out on Instagram or eBay. Good to be here. Hey, guys. This is Joe, Red Hood Comic. Glad to be here. Let's have some fun. Hey, what's going on? Rich Taylor, Dollar. Good to see you all. Hi, I'm, I'm Samson, Comic Book Journey. And I'm Aaron. You can catch me at uh, Comic Book Food Chain or hit me up on my personal Instagram. Move on to everyone's favorite segment, Deal or Flip Side. So, you know, that, that Puma cage, man. Like, I don't know how Nico survived in that, but, you know, I crawled out, you know, a few stitches, whatever. <laughs> glad, glad you made it. Glad you made it. <laughs> so uh, I came up with some books, you know, while I was like, while the Puma was sleeping, uh, I was like, let's see what the panel thinks about some of these. So I have Spider Gwen number 24, the first appearance of Gwenum, which I, you know, we can put an asterisk to that because I'm sure there's people that we've discussed this, like there's previous issues in this run. There's also the Guardians of Nowhere, number one, where that has a, a, a Gwenum cover appearance. And then, we have King in Black, Gwenum versus Carnage number one, the one in 25, uh, CGC 9.8, which is uh, the first Mary Jane as Carnage, which we've also mentioned before on a previous show, that that comes in another issue. I don't remember what it was. Does anyone on the panel remember what issue I that think was it's number. I thought, I thought it was I, this issue. Yeah, I thought it was this issue. It was this issue, issue yeah. yeah. I thought the there cover was the... Yeah, I thought no, this was the, pre, the last the, the last I thought it was the last panel, right? Isn't it kind of like yeah, towards the end of the book? I yeah, and it, and it, like the fool's number two. I don't I don't have it in front of me or or key collector in front of me, but um, yeah. yeah. No, I think it happened in the previous series, but I mean, it might not be like in. Canon oh, it did before. happen. You're right. It did happen in the previous series. I remember we were talking about that. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Cool. But yeah, yeah, but I don't remember exactly which one it was, but. I figured these two would be in a good comparison since they're right around the same price range and, you know, decent, decent modern books. Uh, so who wants to kick us off? I think Joe. Now, you know, uh, I, uh, I spec heavily on the second print uh, and I've got a couple of first prints of uh, the spider Gwen 24, uh, the King in black uh, Gwen versus carnage. Uh, I wasn't, I wasn't a big fan of it. Uh, I just, uh, I love the, the cover of the Sparta Gwen 24. So for, for me, it would, it, it's more of a cover buy, you know, and, um, uh, getting, getting, uh, it's a harder, nine eight. it's a harder nine, eight, the, the Spider Gwen 24, just cause of the black cover. I mean, so, uh, I don't know how many are graded in 9.8, but you got to think it's it's a pretty uh, pretty hard cover to uh, to get in a 9.8. The, oh, the yeah. black Gwenum versus Carnage, it's so new. Uh, uh, in Yuck Lee's art is 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 tremendous, but I I prefer the Spider Gwen 24 all day over this one. Now it looks Spider like we have a new challenger. We, looks like we have a new challenger to the the dealer flip side game. Let's welcome <laughs> Mighty Mel V. So, so, yeah, so this is our first book that we have up for dealer flip side. We have a uh, Spider Gwen twenty four and King in Black Gwen versus Carnage number one, the one in twenty five. I hate that cover for Spider Gwen twenty four. My hands are going crazy and shit. <laughs> what is she doing? <laughs> <laughs> so she's much. throwing it up. She's throwing it up. West side. Like <laughs> West side? <laughs> <laughs> fucking hair. That's how, that's how Peach Momoko's hands was probably looking at those covers that she did. Like, <laughs> crazy <laughs> shit. So by default, I'm going with the King in Black with him versus Carnage. <laughs> mm. uh, well, you know, I would. You know, for me, I would go for Spider Gwen Twenty Four. I mean, they're both amazing cut covers. But um, oh, shout out to um, Ultra Maximus for having 
parts of the community, or if not all the community, going down that rabbit hole of Spider Gwen. Gosh dang! All right, so um, um, I, I was a big fan. I mean, I, I I had them both, the first print and the second print. Um, I don't know. I think I think the the nine point eight of the King and Black. I think it was just kind of like the flavor of the month yeah. for some reason. But um, I would think that uh, I would. Definitely shoot for that Spider Gwen twenty four. Um, it's very hard to just to keep in like a, a nine point eight raw. You know, I mean, it's a hard it's a hard book to grade because it's a black cover. Um, um, so I'm I'm gonna swing with that um, Spider Gwen because I know how, how difficult it is to just to get a nine point eight out out of it. Um, so yeah, I mean, I know it's it's a more important book than the than the yeah. Um, the Gwyneth and Connors. I mean, the, the, the right choice is the Spider Gwen, but I hate the colors, so I'm going all the other way. <laughs> I mean, it's the first appearance. So you got to go for <laughs> Spider Gwen 24. I mean, uh, I don't know. Yeah. Spider Gwen. Now, if Mary Jane Venom, I mean, Mary Jane Connors become the thing, then we'll have to revisit this. But as of now, you know? Yeah. So, so uh, MJ Watson, E M. Second word, Jay Watson from Earth 65 first appeared in uh, Edge of Spider-Verse 2, right? Um, but then she first appears as Carnage in this issue here. Um, personally, I I invested like Joe in the 1 in 25, um, and he's right. Both, they're tough books, man. Uh, they were in me and Steve's May submission, and I had to pull them out because what I saw on the spine. Um, yeah, that so spine I, is I, a headache. I don't see a lot of nine eights going to be on that census. Uh, but on the other hand, Spider Gwen twenty four, all black cover, another tough book. <laughs> um, depending on you know the character and the legs. Personally, I'd rather have uh, Spider Gwen uh, Gwen twenty four. Nine eight, but in Huck Lee, that in Huck Lee is so hot right now, you know, like uh, Zoolander, you know, um, <laughs> but uh, you know, <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, you know, um, and I'm a big in Huck Lee fan. He's he's one of my favorites. But yeah, personally, I'd rather go for the Spider Gwen twenty four. Sounds good. I like Steve? this game. Steve, this great. <laughs> yeah, so I don't. I don't I don't really like I wouldn't invest in either of these books. I know Spider Gwen 24 has been kind of volatile over the years um cuz you know like I don't know how many times are they going to pull Gw uh, Gwenum out of the hat and uh you know so so I know it's been up and down. It kind of reminds me of like how um the uh, Amazing Spider-Man 4 or the uh ASM for one in 25 with the first silk, uh, at least was for a long time. It was like, it was, it was like super hot. Then it would, you know, dip and it was just a roller coaster. Um, yeah, it was. So, <laughs> yeah. I, I, you know, so, it, so I, I, I I'm not going to make this decision based on investment. I'm just going to do it on what I like. And I, Agree with Mel, like that, 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 it's just a really lame cover on twenty four. <laughs> I mean, you know everything. Yeah, everything from the haircut to the yeah, it's just yeah. and and I, I really like In Huckley. I I think he's just immensely talented. I bought a couple of his Marvel Tales uh, covers um, just because I think they'll they're low print runs plus their beautiful cover art um, and. Um, but but yeah, so my my decision is just based on personal taste, and that that's the king in black for me. Yeah. So with these two covers, um, like Spider Gwen twenty four, you know, it was the A cover, it was the open order, um, and the B cover was what the venomized month during that time period. So I didn't really like that B cover too much. Uh, and then for the King in Black, Gwynnum versus Carnage, that's a one in 25. Mm -hmm. I want to say, like, when that first dropped, so like, wasn't that hitting like 100, 150 bucks? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So for, for a 9.8, I, I think that's 
but seems like it's a cheap price, you know, already graded. First to market was uh, sold for four. Okay. And it just dropped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah like, dropped like a rock. Right, right. Yeah. Once the storyline ended and like no one was caring about it, uh, but I mean that in hook Lee cover, it's it's hard to pass on. Um, I know it's 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 a beautiful it's a cover, cover, man. Yeah, I mean, then, look at that. And then I definitely do like the uh, second print for the Gwynn versus Carnage, which was also in hook Lee, but then you have Mary Jane as Carnage on the cover. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, and I think that, that one. Yeah, I think that's the that's the cover too. Yeah, yeah. the blue, this that 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 blue man. Yeah, there you go, Joe. Uh, it yeah. makes a difference. It really makes a difference. So what Aaron, Aaron's saying he's talking about the second print for the Gwynnum versus Carnage. Oh, really? With okay. Mary Jane yeah, so, turning into Carnage. Yeah, that's oh, a good okay. good long term yeah. buy. It's a cover price book right now. Yeah, Joe, so. has, Joe has every book. In the world, so. <laughs> <laughs> so I actually also have a second print for Spider Gwen twenty four and uh, Mel and Sampson. Guess where I found it? Where? Midtown. I found it at Midtown when I my first trip to New York. Uh, really? I went to New York City Comic Con, and beforehand I stopped which, at, uh, at a couple of the different locations. Which Which one? Do you go to Times Square or uh, Fulton so I, or Grand Central? Which one? I went to the Times Square location, and then I don't remember the second one I went to. It had to be Grand Central. Grand Central. The one with the Superman, the Superman right there in the corner of the building. Is that like where where it's like near all the medical stuff? Medical stuff? Like medical center? Did did you have to Mm -hmm. climb a long flight of stairs? Stairs, yeah. Yeah, Or or did you have to take the elevator? Uh, I want to say it was a long flight of stairs. Oh, okay. So I think you were talking about um, Grand Central. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I found that in the back issues, the second print. Oh my gosh, man. For cover. I gotta so. dig more over there, but <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right. So let's bring up our next set of books. So I remember when I was kind of getting back into comics. <laughs> oh my to- gosh, this is a hard one. Okay. I, yeah, I always remember the debate of like, should I invest my money into a New Mutants ninety eight or should I invest into a Batman Adventures number twelve? Yeah. So, yeah. So uh the New Mutants 98 is at a 9.8, and then the Adventures number 12, it's at a 9.6. Both are direct versions. Uh, Steve, why don't you kick it off? Okay. Um, I, don't, I don't like how Suicide Squad was misspelled, so I'm going to go with New Mutants number 98. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, but, I mean, really, I mean, I, I know... Among the community, you know, Marvel has the biggest mind share. Uh, you know, I, I feel like Harley's sort of uh, yeah, that is played it. out. You know, I <laughs> yeah, mean, we've yeah, seen her yeah. in the an- animated show. We've seen her in the Suicide Squad movies. Yeah. We've seen her in Birds of Prey. Um, you know, I, I you know, I don't think right now. The majority of collectors love Harley as much as they love Deadpool and look forward to the next uh, movie appearance of of Deadpool. The way they, <laughs> I, I don't know if anyone's like chomping at the bit to, you know, Suicide Squad. Oh, it's going to have Harley in it again. You know, it's yeah. like, you know. I mean, we we all like Margot Robbie in that role, but. It's it's just not the same as Deadpool. Yeah, she, so. she's a she's a she's a great Hollywood, right? Okay. <laughs> right, yeah. So, uh, you know, the New Mutants nine eight, you know, especially versus a nine six, um, yeah. yeah. No, 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 no question. Okay, Mel, thoughts? Hey, nine eight. I mean, the the New Mutants um, ninety eight and a nine eight. Nope, without a shadow of a doubt. That's I mean, it's only going to go up. People anticipate Deadpool three, uh, like like Steve said, Harley is it's Harley. It's like okay, that's it. <laughs> but people are expecting <laughs> to see more of, of what what Brian Reynolds could do with Deadpool. This is just my opinion, by the way. Um, people, well, me, I'm excited excited to see what, what uh, Brian Reynolds could do more with the Deadpool character going forward. We get the MCU is the biggest thing in entertainment right now, and Deadpool to the mix opens up all other kind of doors. And then you have Warner Brothers <laughs> and Harley. Uh, are they even going to make any more movies? You know, so I'm going with the new movie. Ninety-eight. 
Joe? Uh, if I was going to buy that uh, 9 6 Batman Adventures, it'd be to crack it open to try and get a 9 8. <laughs> 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 otherwise, otherwise I'd, I'd buy New Mutants not, uh, 98 all day long. I, how, many that, uh, how many 9 8 you got of um, Batman Adventures, Joe? Uh, I just got one. See the first guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but uh, I, I've been I've been buying uh, New Mutants uh, nine eight. I've, I've been buying. I, I've got a little stack. And uh, a real quick story. Uh, I, I did a video where I cracked my buddy's uh, nine six, and I sent a raw newsstand. So CGC, I guess, didn't label one of them newsstand. So. Me, I guess we'll find out tomorrow. I'm supposed to get a FedEx uh, shipment, shipment tomorrow. One's a nine six and one's a nine eight. When so, did they start uh, labeling them newsstands that weren't marked jewelers or Canadian price variants? No, but I had put under under the variant to put newsstand, and I guess they don't do it. Yeah, so, yeah usually it has to be a price variant or something. Yeah, you know, and I was kind of hoping that they would throw it on there. So now me and my buddy don't know. Uh, which one is the nine eight and which one is the nine six? And thank God mine is uh <laughs> mine is uh, uh has a UPC on it, or else he's gonna be no man, that was mine. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess I'll find out tomorrow which one uh you know I'm I'm just glad uh at least uh if his is a nine six, at least it pressed out to stay the same grade. But if it's a 9-8, I'm going to be talking some shit, you know? <laughs> hey, uh, guys, uh, I want to thank the panel and thank everybody for watching. Um, this is a no-brainer for me. I'm New Mutants 9-8 all day. Um, on the uh, Tales from the Flip Side CBSI Hot 10 show uh, hosted by... Uh, one and only uh, Brian McClay and the Mighty Mel V, along with uh, Ben Stein. We had a book in uh, Ben's top 10, and it was ASM 300. And we were speaking on the trajectory of this book. I mean, for a long time before even the Venom movie, it was kind of just like in this, you know, you know, it is this cushion of, of gradual, you know, yearly annual appreciation and just, you know, I just, I just didn't see a lot of long, long term with it. But then all of a sudden, you know, the movie came out and then the pandemic and now we're in this new market. Then all of a sudden we had a $7,000 sale, you know, out of nowhere. And this book is, is I've never owned a copy of ASM 300 and now I will never Never own it. So the, so the, the, so the points that we were bringing up. Well, so the okay, I will we'll get with that after the show for show. Um, but the points that Mel and McClay and Stein were making on the show is is that, and I think it was Mel that first said it that New Mutants ninety eight probably is next. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I. That was, that was, I'm sorry for sorry. cutting you off, Steve. I'm, no, no, go ahead, go ahead, Go ahead, Samson. No, I was just going to say that was a great show last, um, last night, Mel. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. yeah. It, it was great fun. Discussion. It was fun. Fun show. Yeah, and, and I agree with him 100%. I mean, you know, Ryan Reynolds, he's, you know, he signs this big deal. They're already, you know, it's in development. And, you know, New Mutants 98 all day. It's going to be a $3,000 book in a 98. Yeah. It, uh, you're going to have a whale throw down some money here, whether it's a new stand or it's a Mark Jewelers. Or, and that's just going to jack all these prices. Even nine sixes are going up, nine fours, yeah. nine twos. You, you guys have me ready to buy one. I don't, well, well, I, right. I, I, another thing that's cool about it is, is that, you know, not only you got the, you know, it's the first Deadpool or what have you, and you got the copycat as, as Domino, but it's an early Liefeld and McFarlane cover also, you know, you can even add that to the mix, you yeah. know, and keep an eye out for Mark Jewelers and Australian price variants. Um, the Mark Jewelers are tough. I just picked up a direct edition, uh, direct edition for ridiculous cheap. It's going to be in an additional submission. Looks nine eight. But yeah. Uh, and this hit me one, up if you have an Australian one. Uh so but go ahead, Samson. 
Yeah, so this was a tough one, but, you know, because both these characters are really close to my heart, man. I mean, that Deadpool, I remember pulling off the, pulling that uh, n um, New Mutants 98 off of a rack in Walden bookstores back in the days. Mm. I still I still have it. I don't even, I haven't even um, checked if there's a Mark Jeweler, Jeweler's, uh, whatever you call it, insert. Um, but I think it was around two, year, two years ago, I had my eye on Harley Quinn because I, I that was my that was my number one target last year and the year before, and all these other books exploded. So um, since I already already have that um, the New Mutants uh, Deadpool, which was my my all time favorite character when I was growing up, I actually thought um, I was actually buying Spider Man. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, what is, why does Spider-Man have a gun and a knife? I'm like, I got to get this. And then I was such a dumbass. I was like, this is not Spider-Man. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, so looking at that price of a 9.6 Batman adventure, since I don't own one, I would probably get that just for my, for my PC. But um, in regards to um, an inve investment purpose, you know, um, I would definitely shoot for the new mutants all day. That I project that book going to easily five grand, and then to the moon probably like in ten years. <laughs> it's it's a definitely a sought after book. Um, I agree with uh, with Rich and Mel. This this book is probably, or if not already, is the next a ASM three hundred. So for a good ROI, both of them, it, but I would lean towards the 9-8 New Mutants for myself. I would buy the um, Harley Quinn. Hopefully DC can um, reboot her, you know, somewhere down the road. Um, but me personally, I would get, I would actually choose a 9.6 9 uh, Batman Adventures 12. Hey, Samson, uh, just real quick. Um, you're a Harley Quinn fan. What did you think of Black Canary? Or uh, not Black Canary. Um, oh, let's see. Let's uh, see let's Emancipation see. of, you know, the Fantabulous. You know, the movie that just came out. Uh, Harley God. Quinn, the Fantabulous. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's just so quirky. I mean, I don't know, it's, it's just so hard to take DC movies seriously. You know, I just... Right. Uh, it's just like... Uh, one after the other, you know, they just... I don't. I don't want to. I. I don't really want to talk anything negative about. Why can't they get the you know DC get it right? You know yeah. why can't they hire a writer to 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 yeah. write a great they, story? They, they, just do. They, they should do. I mean, Margot Robbie's <laughs> gonna be eighty years old before we get the story right, and then you know, yeah. I mean. Yeah. You got a great actress, and they can't even get a good script. They should, they should just get Chris. They should just get Christopher Nolan. To <laughs> we just, we just forget that the the, yeah. the, the the bombs overshadow the successes. I mean, mm -hmm. you have to remember there has been the Joker. You know, Shazam was a great movie. Yeah, um, oh, at least yeah. in my opinion. Yeah, that's not well, overlooked. Those films. I mean, Joker was excellent. Right. Um, so try, I love it. You know, try watching the Titans uh, streaming show. Uh, you know, That's I mean, they they are they are they are very capable of doing it. It's just a spotty record, and and, yeah. and it's hard to compare against Marvel's nearly spotless record, right? Well, so. because Marvel has connectivity, everything ties in. That's right, and it, it just it you know they've got this world that that every all these pieces you know start to fit, you know you know the one offs, you know sooner or later they'll get lucky with with a hit, you know, and I think I don't know who said it, but man, that would have been awesome for for a Harley to come out in a Christopher Nolan. Uh, That's film. what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. just you have know, Christopher can, write everything for them. Man, I, I mean, but you can you imagine uh, the the you know a Margot Robbie in 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 a Nolan film and and oh my gosh. Her, her acting chops and what she could uh, deliver. I mean, that would have been something. But yeah, well, I, I, I am looking forward to this the Suicide Squad movie. You know, with with James Gunn 
at the helm, I think that gives them a fighting uh, fighting chance. Uh, yeah, and, and you know, give this, it a try. Yeah, yeah. So, um, what what I don't, you know, what I'm I'm not so sure about is the, the Black Adam film. I, I don't know what what that's going to be like, but I you know I guess we we'll, we'll see. I'm not I'm not too big on judging things by the the trailers and speculating whether it's going to be good or bad. You know, you know in advance. Uh, you know, I think we've been tricked too many times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, since we're on the subject of DC, uh, just yeah. a just a casting update. Just in from the uh, from the wire. Just kidding. Um, so Guy Gardner was just casted. Uh, Finn Whitrock from you probably remember him from America Horror Story is believed to be casted as Guy Gardner in the next uh, Green Lantern film, HBO Max, reported by um, Murphy's Multiverse from uh, Deadline. A hey, question. Um, he he was the one with the uh, the clown, and he was the kid that was going crazy, right? Yep. I always thought he would make a great Joker. Yep. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> he he's he's a great actor, so I'm looking forward to this. Great actor. Yeah. Okay. And uh, for the su surprise twist, so a New Mutants ninety eight CBCS nine point eight newsstand sold for three thousand three hundred and one dollars. And then a direct version of New Mutants 98 sold for 2425 And this is just two days after the auction I showed you beforehand. Hmm. So Man. just kind of wanted to put that out there. Uh, I don't know what the record is. Yeah, I don't know what the record is for a newsstand uh, on CGC is, but I, I don't ever remember a 3K you mean it's on the eight selling for that high. Man, I hope my new stand is a nine eight tomorrow, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I love my buddy, you know, but uh, man, he's gonna be pissed if mine comes back a nine eight, man. <laughs> Cause I bought that right. raw, I bought it for like three hundred bucks, man. All right, so for our big dog books, I picked Albedo number two at a six five. And a TMNT number one, nine point eight third printing. Hmm. Wow. Good job, Aaron. Jeez. Yeah, you definitely nailed <laughs> it. You found you found you found your niche, kid. I like this. <laughs> <laughs> I like the slide, man. Nice. <laughs> Damn, All right, kid. Want, mm. I I can go if you want. Okay. Go All right. See. Um, I, I'm having an easy time with these tonight. I, I'm I'm gonna go with the uh, uh, TMNT because I know everyone heard about this. I mean, you know, I, my, my wife knows the names of the turtles, right? I, I mean, I think I can measure a lot by uh, my wife. <laughs> and, I mean, even, even my two boys who aren't even in the turtles, you know, I, I think they know who they are. I mean, Usagi's unfortunately, you know. Whether we like it or not, you know, you, you say Usagi Yojimbo to someone on the street, they're liable to, like, you know, tackle you. Or, you know, <laughs> what did you say to me? You know, so, uh, yeah, you know, uh, Usagi is for collectors. You know, TMNT is for, uh, Generations. you know, for the world, you know. Yeah. So that's Good my point. take. Final answer. Uh, it, a lot of factors going. I think Usagi has not has had his day in the sun yet, and I think higher grade higher grades of this book is going are going to go through the roof. Um, but for this one, I'm gonna lean towards the the nine eight just because it's a nine eight, and it, like you said, it's turtles, turtles worldwide. But Usagi will have his day in the sun. You better believe that. That's it. Um, you know, I would, you know, I've never seen that albedo in person ever. I've seen plenty of the Ninja Turtles for some reason, but that I've never seen it. I've known probably two people that had it, but I'm only seen it because I've seen it like probably on IG, but I've never seen that. I never seen the Usagi at a con for some reason. 
but it, um, but then it's just for me the determining factor is just the grade alone. I, I, I would definitely go for the TM TMNT uh, nine point eight third printing, just because uh, it's a nine point eight, and I know that um, it's more liquid. It could be. I think it's more liquid than yeah. than than definitely in the Usagi right now. So I would actually I would. Just definitely go for the um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles third print scene. Uh, Joe or Rich? Is it me? I, Sorry, I was on yeah, mute. I, Sorry, I, I was on mute. Um, uh, go ahead, Joe. Sorry, you Michael. go, Rich. Oh, okay. Um, well, I, I I press books like Rich, you know, and and I see that six five, and I guess I would need to get a closer look, but. If there's some meat on the bone, I may buy that 6.5, crack it open, try and get a 7.5, 8.0, uh, just because I, I've i done it, you know, and so that would be some, uh, some hanging fruit there. But if you're somebody that doesn't press or, or doesn't want to go that route, I mean, 9.8, uh, you command your own price once you have them. And, uh, you know, the fact that this sold for almost six grand uh, in three months, is this going to be an $8,000 9.8? And the way things are going with 9.8, man, uh, it, it, it's uh, you're securing an investment right there at a 9.8. Gosh, dang, I can't believe that. That yeah. book is I mean, crazy. Even though, even though it's a third print, uh, nine eights. Uh, what year was that book? 1983, 80, 84. I mean, it's still, they're, they're both older books, but 85. Yeah. Yeah. 85. So yeah, for me personally, I would go with the albedo just because of an opportunity to crack it open and see if I could get it at a higher grade. Uh, you don't have, you don't have a nine eight. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't have a 1.8. <laughs> like, like, uh, like my, I've never seen uh, seen it in the wild. I mean, you this this would be a book that you would see at a at a half price books. You know, if you're digging, because uh, I don't think anybody really understood the significance of uh, the abito. You know, but. Turtles, I mean, they're more mainstream. There's a ton of upside, unless you know they they uh, Amazon's going to do uh, uh, Yasagi uh, Jimbo, right? Uh, animated. Yeah, or, I think it's Netflix. Netflix, that's doing, the, so, that's doing a space Yasagi. You know, and depending on on how well that does, I mean, I mean, but both books, I mean, you can't go wrong. Uh, if if I'm gonna make a decision, I'll go with the six five just to crack it open and press it. Did anybody pick up the foils? The, um, the foil reprints came out. I think it was last year. Yeah, for uh, what was that? San Diego Comic Con, Virtual Con. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I picked up a few. Nice. Uh, personally, uh, for me, PC and investment albedo. Not even, not even thinking about it. Um, hmm. I've been looking at this book, following this book for a while. The TMNT one definitely is is a great great job, Aaron. Um, that's that's a tough one. I could see. I mean, it's a nine eight, so you got the old slab. So hey, you got the premium old slab. So let's crack it. Go for the nine nine, baby. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but uh, but uh, there was a six zero albedo white pages that sold a month or two ago, maybe three months ago. I'm not sure uh, for. I think it was like six, it was 69.99, uh, 95 or best offer. And then that tool I used that crook tool, a uh, crooks tool. And I think it sold for like $6,600. And then a seven, five sold for like close to 7,500 or $7,900. So, you know, and especially because of what Joe said, like, yeah, he's right. When we buy slabs or books that are already slab, the first thing we're looking at to see if there's any meat on the bones. And I'll be honest with you, a lot of times if there's no meat on the bones, there's and I and I know that's the grade, the true grade. It's a lot of times I'm kind of like, eh, I'm kind of like this, you know. And I guess that's just pressing books and you know, just 
I don't know. That's just me. I guess Joe's the same way. But yeah, uh, the albedo all day. Um, for me, I, I think it has to do more with the rarity factor. Um, so the correct me if I'm wrong, but I think there's like two thousand of the albedo in existence, and then like uh, I think the original print run is like four thousand, but half of them got destroyed somehow, like in a flood or a fire. I can't remember exactly. Mm. Um, and you know, how, how many times have we ran into a team in team number one? Like you could go to like pretty much any con and you're guaranteed to see at least a third print. Right. Um, so I'm going to have to go with the albedo too. And yeah, I, I did buy a few of those foils and man, those are tough to get in high grade too. Yeah. Fucking fingerprints and shit on them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. And we have a user submitted uh, from Instagram. Illustrate has submitted another book for me to bring up to the panel. So we have Werewolf by Night, uh, 32 at a 9.4 at $9,900. Or would you buy three copies of Werewolf by Night, 32 at a 8.5? So he wanted the idea that, like, would you buy about the same amount of money into one book or into three? And why? That's a that's a that's. Do you, do you have any info about the census? Uh, I don't, but I can look that up real quick. Well, that's a good one, too. Man, this is like a sport. This is this is a good one. This is this. Yeah. I, I, I like I like to steal from this action. I'm telling you. Yeah. I'm about to steal this shit. <laughs> just bring me on to a uh, uh, to to uh, join the chat. I'll, yeah, I'll, any, I'll I'll bring up an extra set of books. And then, anytime, uh, anytime, okay. anytime. Yeah, yeah. But this is this is good, guys. Three, three, three eight fives versus one nine four. This is your book, Mel. Yeah, <laughs> not, I mean, I want this book, but I'm not gonna get it. Jeez, um. Mm. Three copies versus one copy. You, right. figure, you figure eight five. Oh man! Somebody go before me because I gotta hear. I gotta still smile. All right. Up. So before <laughs> before before we start, uh, I'll go ahead and get some numbers out real quick. Uh, at a nine four, they're two hundred and six. At a eight five, they're three hundred ninety two. Mm. Uh, there's a total of three thousand five hundred eighty three uh, blue labels. Uh, Nineteen. 98s, uh, 79.96s. So. Mm. How many 98s is that? Uh, 19. Wow. Yeah. I'll go, I'll go first. I mean, this is a really tough one. You know, uh, just, I mean, just to, I'm looking at the market. I, I know how hard it, uh, how, how tough it is to find um, a high grade and um, to find the first appearance of uh, Moon Knight. Um, I mean, you just said it right there, but even a 9.4, even a 9.2 is pretty tough. But um, the way the market's moving right now, personally, I would actually get three 8, 8.5s because I know those things, once they once it hits and that, that yeah. see, you know, I can spread that money around. I think I can, where I think I might be, I don't know. I, I don't right. think I'll be sitting on a 9.4, but I think I, I think I can move it a lot quicker. Right. Uh, an 8.5. Um, I think I can spread my money around. I think I can get more bang for my buck, I, honestly. And I can keep, I can probably keep one, um, one 8.5. I'll be satisfied with that because, I mean, most of those, most of the raw copies are, you know, they're, they're all mangled up anyway. So 8.5, I'll be happy with the 8.5 uh, werewolf by night. So I'll go with the three, I'll go with the three uh, 8.5 for myself. Good answer. Good answer. Um, um, I'm with you. I mean, you could, yeah. you could, uh, you could trade. You know, fives. You can crack them open, press them. I mean, uh, there's more upside uh, uh, to buying. I mean, eight five thirty two hundred dollars uh, next year. That'll be five grand, and then you'll have fifteen thousand dollars. You know, right. 
But what does the nine? What would the nine four be next year? <laughs> I know. Yeah, that thing's gonna be like yeah, fifteen thousand. You, you, <laughs> you have you have more flexibility. Um, yeah, I agree. You know, to to trade or to flip and and um, yeah. You know, I mean, to, you know, to invest in another book. You yeah, know, because when yeah, once it hits that ceiling, I mean, I don't know if this book has a ceiling, but I would imagine it'll probably be what fifteen grand, but. Like who's gonna who's willing to spend 15 k on that book? <laughs> okay, that you know? is, that's, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, it's Ooh. not that tough a book to press. I mean, the the only thing that hurts that book is because of the blue, you get the white color breaks. But it, it's fairly easy book to press. I mean, wouldn't you agree, Dollar? Uh, absolutely. Um, even though I've never pressed one, but. Oh, you uh, never <laughs> But if you say so, I agree because you're the man. No, yeah, I just um, it, yeah, I'm getting a lot of uh, a lot of people that want their books pressed all of a sudden, and uh, I've you know, I I've pressed a bunch of w Werewolf by Night, uh, Tomb of Dracula, Marvel Spotlight, that whole area, um, but I, I I've pressed a few books in this run, so yeah, I hear you. I hear you. And I agree with you. I think uh, the Werewolf by 932.85s is the play here. First of all, you got white pages. Okay. You got off white pages on the 94. Second is that, you know, 9900. I mean, I, I know I was looking at this book a couple weeks ago. I, I don't, I mean, I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure. You could get white page quality for about seven, eight hundred dollars less if you would have waited around. Uh, so yeah, like Joe says, we would be looking for meat on the bone on the A5 to see if we can bump, even 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 to a 90, you know, um, or possibly a 94 or even a 96. Sometimes a 98. But if you, uh, if, you, yeah. if, you get, if you can hit a 92 with a press, then you 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 in the bank. You yeah, you won. Cool. Yeah, and that's the first thing and that's the first thing we look at you know you look at the if there's if there's room to bump and if there's no room to bump then you got to look at the specs and the specs are okay fine it, you know it's it, it's it's two pegs down but it's also 66 67 percent less and the uh and the the book that is that is higher is uh basically selling for 10 percent higher than it did two weeks ago without a, a real like any casting news like i said the 9100 dollars with white pages nine four sales i saw so yeah i would go for the werewolf by night eight fives white pages all day every day yeah, yeah you're a great point. Say, white pages, man white pages all day because you know nine four I, I'm shocked that it went for 9,900 without white pages. You know that that's kind of surprising. You know, I, I, you know, people are really looking at. You know, if they're going to invest their money, they're looking at page quality big time, man. Oh. Uh, well, yeah. what, what, what do you care what the color of the pages are? Was in, in the, in the slide. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was thinking no, the same it, thing it, too, man. Like, uh, <laughs> no, uh, Joe's right. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you're, 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 <laughs> I've, uh, I've always wanted that. Like, <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's, it's amazing looking at. I, I'm looking at GPA, and up until this year, the the highest a nine four had sold for was. 5300 and that was mm. back in 2019 and wow. then one the first one so only four have sold this year the first one sold for 5700 then the next one sold for 8000 the one after that was 9000 and then the one after that is this one it's like wow when did, when did the 5400 one sell what, what, what january it, then uh no the 5700 was March. <laughs> really yeah. oh wow yeah Jeez, two months. Damn. But uh I, I like I like Samson's uh laddering wow. strategy. I, I like to do that with graded books, with um with raw books. I, I like having multiple copies of something. So hopefully I can I can ride the way up and you know test the market at different price points over different periods of time, whether rather than just you know shooting my shot all at all at once, right? So. Well, I want to say, I, I think Stein brought it up on the hot 10. Um, 
it gets to a certain price point where you have limited buyers, right? Right. So having like multiple copies of the eight five that you can sell, you know, for more than what you paid for, and then you still have an audience that will still pay for it. I mean, Absolutely. I think that's a better play where it's more liquid instead of just like, you know, you invest so much that you have to get that much more or, you know, see a profit. And it's like, you could be sitting on that for how long, you know, it might be too late. And then now you're just stuck with a, I mean, you know, it's not a bad book to have in your collection, but yeah, if you're looking to flip and, you know, buy something bigger or whatever. Uh, so yeah, definitely choose a three. Such a great cover. Such a great cover. All right. I want to thank everyone for joining us and stay safe out there.